This is a quick video of guns that I think are noob friendly along with some budget builds and ammo. But before that most of these builds are interchangeable with any different parts that you would like. These are just some of the best mods for the lowest price and any build cost does not include the price of a site because that is completely preference on what you want. And these prices are based strictly from the trader prices so you can most likely get the guns and some of the mods for cheaper than this on the flea market. So first let's start off with the shotguns. The MP-153 is great for early game PvP, but if you can it should always be loaded with AP-20 slugs or flechette rounds because they are the best slug and buckshot rounds, and the only thing you really need to add to it is an 8 round magazine tube and a choke. The Saiga 12 is another great PvP shotgun, the only difference from the MP-153 being it's magazine fed and more modular, and one of the most important mods is the muzzle brake giving the greatest reduction to recoil. The Vityaz PP-19 is a cheap great gun in its stock form, it being full auto and very low recoil. With it being compact, it makes a great gun to use on factory and even labs and customs. I mainly run PST, being the best cheaper ammo, and if you have extra money, AP rounds have the best penetration of 9mm. And the Vityaz is almost as modular as regular AKs, and it allows for all dovetail sights to be mounted directly onto the gun. But if you don't want to mod it, you can just do what I do and take the rear sight off for a clear picture, just keep in mind that it will shoot higher. And when it is modded to its full potential, it becomes a laser beam. The 8R is PvP ready as is. The only thing it really needs is better ammo. But if you want, you can replace the front sight gas block with a low profile gas block and add a good sight to it. The Vepper is another good PvP gun right out of the gate. If you give it good ammo and bigger mags, you can just go into the raid as is. If you want to clear up the sight picture, you can remove the rear sight. Just keep in mind that it will throw off where your aim is at vertically. And with something as simple as just changing the stock, it reduces the recoil and gives you a decent boost to ergo. But if you mod it out completely, it can be a really great mid to long range PvP gun. The OPSKS is a very cheap and common DMR. All you really need to do is take out the 10 round internal magazine and give it a 20 round external magazine. And on top of that you can give it a close range sight or a longer range sight but make sure you have the dovetail mount to go with it. The Vepra Hunter is one of the scariest rifles to go against. With it being semi-automatic and with some very heavy hitting rounds that can one shot a chest, it is a very viable option for new players to use. And the only thing you really have to do to it is put a sight on it and give it 10 round mags. And lastly the AK-74 which is one of the cheapest and one of the best 545 rifles you can buy. And this is the same as the Vepra and the Saiga. If you want to, you can just take the rear sight off. Just keep in mind that your vertical aim will be off a little bit. I always try to use BT, but if you can't afford it, I at least try and use BP. The AK can get the same benefits for the same cheap and easy mod of just a stock. But if you can mod this gun out completely, it is very versatile. Going from close range all the way to long range if need be.